Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long overdue update on my 2007 Acura RL. Been busy with work and a lot of things going on in my life. Moving, you know how that is. Been pretty tough. But anyways, here she is. It's got, it's been a while. I just hit the 320,000 mile marker. Went over that too. Front tires are nice and new. Back ones are pretty good too. So let's take take a seat inside, start it up, check out the miles and everything. So in this car, everything works the way it is. Never had any type of cost, knock on wood. Got the keyless entry system, works fine. Couple of issues that I did have is interior cosmetics. As you can see, the seat's been ripped. Right here, so I put this cover on it just to protect it as much as I can. And so the future goal on that is to completely restore the car. As you can see, the sun right here is messing, uh, it's messing with this one here. It's all getting sticky. And as you can see, kind of looks like the car's got psoriasis. But other than that and the seat, perfect. Everything is very good. Keyless entry system. Starts up a little bit, you know, the cover is missing on this one, it broke off, but um, that's something you expect, obviously. So, this the passenger seat is in very good shape, you know, because the driver one is the one that's a little bit problem but for like a 16 year old almost 17 year old car it's a 2007 model with roughly 320,578 miles on the clock got the navigation system that works most of the time both 10 speakers are on sound system 260 watt works flawless love it AC blows ice cold. The heater works just as well. Um, I got my little setup going on here. You can see the navigation comes up. It takes a little bit of time to come up and project everything, but as you can see, you can zoom out. It'll do its thing. It works really well. I love it. Uh, this is more dependable than you know using Google Maps and loss of service this will work off of the satellite so all, but all you got to do is you got to save the addresses Address. so you can see the previous destinations Pre just whatever you want just save it there if you save it up there then you don't have to spend time putting it in because inputting the address is very difficult so let's say address. push menu address Pre you got to go through one letter at a time you got to select using this knob not saying it's hard it's just a little bit time consuming compared to the google we got the luxury of just you know asking google hey where's the nearest gas station hey where's this hey go home or whatever and it comes right up but here you know you got to input the address word by word number by number so once you got that set up just spend some time set it up this navigation is flawless too. So 320,000 miles. Um, I have this exclam uh, triangle with the exclamation point. That's going to be your VCA light. It's been there for the last five years. Um, it's, it's been like that, but other than that, no problems at all. Um, I have the original engine, original transmission. Original starter, original alternator. The only thing I replaced was the radiator at 280,000 miles. Next thing that I want to do is my wheels, my chrome wheels are getting pitted pretty bad. So like I said, I got pretty big plans for this car. I'm gonna restore the interior. We're gonna try to take care of these wheels. Probably put new ones on there or I got a crack in the glass too. A lot of travel. 
got some some chips right there but i ordered the new part there's a lot of things i ordered for the front grill to make it look good so we're gonna take care of that once i have time as you can see this is getting age this acura logo came out of there so the, the engine is all original you can see the, these hoses are all original they need to be changed so i went ahead and i bought the hoses too so we're gonna change it though but they're still in good shape got some corrosion on the battery which i'm gonna take care of Radiator has been replaced. I, I had it changed. This coolant reservoir has been changed because the cap broke off, so I had to go ahead and change that. Power steering fluid, it leaks very little bit. It'll have a tiny leak. So every once a year, I just top it off. Even once every two years. Transmission is perfect. There's no leaks on anything. However, I do have a rear main seal that's beginning to seep now at 320,000 miles. Runs really nice for 320,000 miles. 5,000 miles ago, I, I just replaced this one. There was a crack in it. You know, the rubber cracked and I had to just replace this piece right here. I got it from eBay. Works fine. You, know, you don't need to go OEM for that. Radiator has been replaced. It's a aftermarket unit, but very close to OEM. Next, next time I'm gonna get OEM. This end right there, the one on the right, is gonna be your AC condenser fan. That was replaced back at 200,000 miles ago. I ordered it and I replaced it myself. That was the only expense I had, and the transmission range switch it's, it's accessible when you remove this wheel it's going to be right on the side of the transmission very easy $50 part hold on by a 10 millimeter bolt and um, you just got to know how to put, put that back on battery has been replaced once the original one lasted five years and then this one I replaced back in 2018 I had this car for a while. Look at that baby car. 320,000 miles right there. You'll probably see that rear main seal leak. Uh, don't mind that water, that's the AC water right there. Uh, the headlights. Every two months, I gotta always restore the lights. I always restore it because they the seals are getting kind of dry. Water will seep in and it's gonna cause the hazy and the foggy and all that. The engine, very strict on the oil changes. Every 3,000 miles, no ifs, ands, or buts. Change it with 5W220. Mogul 1 full synthetic extended performance oil. Every 3,000 miles, I change it. I know I'm supposed to go longer than that, but no. I'm very particular with my cars, and this is how I do it. I change it myself. Never been to any place. I use a Honda OEM filter, oil filter. That's it. I change the gaskets. I do everything on my own. The transmission fluid, I change it every 30,000 miles using the Honda DW fluid. Takes three quarts, just to drain and fill. I don't do a flush. You're not supposed to do a flush. However, there is a specific Honda way to do the flush, which means that you just keep doing drain and fills two or three times in, in a span of day or two. I don't have time for that, but the fluid always comes out clean. I don't have no metal shavings, which means that since I bought the car at 145,000 miles, I've been on point. I just go ahead and do it every 30,000 miles. I go ahead and do that. And let's come around in the back. This is a all-wheel drive, super handling all-wheel drive. So you do have a differential in the back. You can see, that's the differential in the back. And then up ahead, you got the transfer case. So these things have their own fluids. So I always go ahead and um, 
change the fluid. So for the rear differential, I use the Acura all-wheel drive fluid. And I change that every 30,000 miles. The transfer case, however, you use a 80W75 hypoid gear oil or 85W75 hypoid gear oil. I use the Acura OEM. Everything that I use, every fluid that I use, I use Honda and Acura OEM stuff. And it's been on point. 15,000 miles for that. Change it. A lot of miles on the highway, this paint, I had it painted once. It's already coming off, so I got to take care of that. Like I said, there's a big restoration plans for this car that I'm going to take care of. But that's it. 320,000 miles been very reliable hard to believe it drives very nice the back seats look like they were never been used except for this the leather teared up when i was vacuuming the car so like i said a restoration project is in works for the future we'll take care of this without a problem everything's there wooden nice green wood trim a lot of things going on here. Always been using this uh, Yoka Panda, oh sorry, Yokohama tires. This is the second set so far from 145,000 miles. Runs very good. Nice and cold. Oof. Surprising thing about this car, it drives better than new cars. I have a 2020 Toyota Camry, but this thing drives a lot better, uh, smoother, no shakes, nothing. Drives strong like a tank. The main thing is the key. You got to take care of it. Look at that. If you take care of the car, any car is going to last. Some cars will be better than others. Some won't, but that goes to the manufacturer though. It, Manufacturer also is a number. I mean, is one of the factors too for the longevity of the car. Honda and Acura are known to make good cars. If you don't take care of them, if you don't do things the right time, they're gonna break too. But if you take care of them, they can outlive you. Three hundred twenty thousand miles, and it's got plenty of life left. I'm trying to keep this to a million miles. The Camry, on the other hand, is also. You know, it's a Toyota, so that's very reliable too. I got 133,000 miles on it, and I do the same maintenance. Oil changes on that one, I use the 016 oil. Every 5,000 miles, I change the oil on that one. With that car, I don't do that 10,000 mile BS that Toyota has. You know, we don't do the 10,000 mile crap. Even Toyota mentioned that the 10,000 miles is for very light driving but you got to be honest you know everybody in the current life doesn't drive the car lightly you know, the traffic stop and go puts a toll on the engine idling like this puts a toll on the engine so in my opinion that's why i do oil changes earlier than what they recommend this one is f supposed to be 5,000 miles or actually like 7,000 miles because that's when that light comes on this light right here, the oil life, will come on like 15% is when it's going to start telling me that service is about to be due. And that's roughly 65 to 7,000 miles. I never followed that. For the nine years that I've owned this car, I've never seen my oil light come on due for service or anything. Because I always do it when this thing hits 70, or 70%. When the oil life reaches 70%, that's roughly about 3,000 miles. And that's when I do it. So it's about time for me to do the oil change in a bit. <clears throat> so that's the way I do it. You gotta kind of stay on top of it. These cars will last. No, you know, there's no questions about that. And everything works good. You will have cosmetic problems. There's no way these things are gonna last without that too right there totally ripped off. But we're gonna take care of it. Like I said, you know, restoration is in the works. So from the maintenance standpoint, how much money did I save with the longevity of this car? I have money saved up to 
restore the car. That's the way I look at it. As you can see, material is very perfect. Nice. Later. Thanks for tuning in, guys. You guys have a great one. My 2007 Acura RL, 320,000 miles.